Which topic we will learn today, Doctor? Our topic today is multiple loops in electric The current flow through A, B, G, H, and A to make one loop, and the current flow through A, B, C, D, G, H, and A to make another loop. So it is called multiple loop electric circuit because it has more than one loop in a circuit. E stands for potential difference. L stands for inductor, while R stands for resistor. T stands for capacitor. Well, differentiate I1 with respect to T and differentiate I2 with respect to T is the rate of change of current flow. Next, we need to insert the value of resistor, inductor and capacitor into the equation. We will plus transform the equation 1 in order to get the equation for L in terms of I1. We also Laplace transform the equation 2 and then after the following equation we will substitute the equation of Li1 into the Li2 and finally from the solution we will get the value of Li2 In addition, we will substitute Li2 into Li1, which is uh, the value of Li2 from before. We will insert into Li1 in order to get the equation for Li1. Now we will solve for Li1 first by using partial fraction. So we get B equal to 960. C equal to 6 over 5. We will let S equal to 1. And from there, A equal to negative 6 over 5. And we will solve the partial fraction for Li1. And to solve Li2, we also use partial fraction. And from there, B equal to negative 120. C equal to 6 over 5. We also let S equal to 1. Which is, we will also get A equal to negative 6 over 5. And after that, we will get Li2. Then, we will take the inverse Laplace transform for each of the equation, which is Li1 and Li2. We will inverse both of the equation, and from there, we will get I1 in terms of T and I2 in terms of T. We use Wx maxima. And we get the same answer with the manual solution. From the graph, we can see that as t goes to infinity, both i1 and i2 goes to the value of Re equal to 6 over 5. By Kehoff law, the current flow through the capacitor is i3 equal to i1 minus i2, which is equal to 60 t exponential negative 100 t. Thus, the value of I3, I3 goes to zero as t goes to infinity. In conclusion, the purpose of multiple loop electric circuit is to obtain the rate of change of current flow in the multiple loop. It is conducted by mathematical calculation in the multiple loop electric circuit by using differential equation, which is first order ODE. And the component is inductor, resistor, and capacitor. The multiple loop electric circuit uses first order ODE 
with Laplace transform and it, it will give the total amount of current flow within the time equal to zero into upward. For computer added solution, we use WS Maxima as our software which is we program the equation in it and then we will get the solution and then for the graph we can plot in it uh, by the current flow and then it will give the clear visual of the current flow versus time every component in the electrical circuit plays an important role to the overall process of the circuit in order to give the best output in the circuit especially in terms of current flows there are several recommendations that can be focused on First, we need to reduce the resistivity of resistance by providing the shorter electrical circuit in order to give better current flows. Second, we need to use good electric conductor in order to increase the efficiency of the circuit such as gold, aluminium and silver. And third, we have to increase the diameter of the cylindrical of inductor to maximize the amount of current. Okay. Allah mentioned in Surah Az-Zumar verse 53 A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ <تصفيق> Lo, the dick, you